Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how you can protect a hub motor from corrosion and also improve its cooling. So this, is, this will basically make it waterproof and if water does still get into it, it's not good to uh, corrode and get covered in sort of aluminium fluff. So you need Hylomar blue to do this and transmission fluid. So. You need to take all the screws out and take the flanges off the side. Now this is this is a good thing to do. It's ideal for hub motors with gears and without a clutch and also the direct drive hub motors. Uh, if you've got a clutch in your hub motor, uh, it, in my experience it did work but I think after a few years it just broke the clutch because uh, the clutch is not designed to work immersed in oil. So you've got to get the side off and uh, this could sometimes be quite difficult to do. So I've actually already done this to the hub motor but I've just, I'm just doing this again just to, for the purposes of uh, the Electric Bikes Facebook group just to share how this is done. So what you would do is you would just take the side off the motor you do this on both sides and You'd clean, you'd clean the flange on each side with isopropyl alcohol, make it very clean, then dry it. And then all you do is just get this Hylomar blue, and it's just be, it's essential liquid gasket. And then you just smear it on carefully in a very thin layer all the way around, so it's all covered. You do that on both halves, and then you just wait a little while until the solvent evaporates and then you just well before you do that you'd pour in the oil being careful not to get it on the hylomar uh, because it doesn't make the seal as good so you pour that inside and then you would just place the side back on like this leave it for just a, a few a few seconds and then you just bolt it down securely and you do that on both sides. As for the amount of oil you put in, you don't have to fill it, you just have to put a small amount in. So say this was a hub, say it's your hub motor, you just put in enough that it would just sort of settle down to that level. You don't, do not put loads in because it will just come spraying out where the wire goes in and it also would slowly come out through the bearings. So you don't have to use very much. Even so, it still does seep out through the bearings very, very slowly over time uh, through use. But in my opinion, that's better than having the motor ruined completely by corrosion. So I hope everyone found that helpful.